All right, so we got Flappy Bird official reveal trailer. Who knew? Who knew? Let's get right into it, then I'm gonna just ramble after this video. Let's go. Man. Who knew? 10 years ago. The latest gaming sensation, Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. Why is it so hard? Down we got PewDiePie, bro. It is the number, number one, one app in over 100 countries. It's a global sensation. And people going crazy by the addictive nature bro, of the bro. game. Until suddenly it was game over. The yep. mobile game of Flappy Bird has been taken off the Apple App Store. Bro took it down. Users across Play social media expressing their disappointment. You can't play Flappy Bird anymore. Gone. Rest in peace. Is this real though? 2024? Is this real? Wait, this is real? Wait, is it out right now? Bro I was playing it on the toilet. Oh man, Flappy Bird, bro. Oh man, you know what? You know what? You know what I'm gonna say about this? Because first of all, I'm about to ramble for just just for a little bit, not for too long, but I'll ramble for a little bit, bro. Flappy Bird was one of those iconic games. Like, oh my goodness gracious, I remember. I think my top score for Flappy Bird was what? And I'm not gonna lie, I think it was, bro. I think it was like 50. <laughs> I think it was, bro. It was like 50, bro. I saw like people getting like level 200. Like they were like, they, bro. Some, somehow some way like because it was always that um the most difficult one is when you would like tap 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 whatever and you will tap all the way up and you'll go through the one and you'll go through like the gap that's all the way up and then they'll like the next gap is all the way down then you will have to like let the bird drop for a little bit and catch it on time to not make it hit the it was crazy so uh that's the one that i always failed on but um i was sad whenever this game went bro um and then to come to find out i didn't even know that that one guy made this game i didn't bro i literally learned that one dude i think uh he took like some type of like um like programming class where they supposed to like, uh make a game and then bro he made the game in that programming class or whatever just for like the uh, assignment and then he was like you know what i'm gonna just put this on the app store and then it got like hundreds of millions of downloads i downloaded the game i'm pretty sure like you know if you're alive right now watch this video i'm pretty sure you downloaded the game uh, absolutely iconic, and then it just vanished out of anywhere. Now, come to find out, and I promise you, it, it's so crazy because I didn't even like research none of this before I, I start up the video. Come to find out, and I, I literally remember hearing this that the guy who actually put the game, uh, who actually made the game, and who put the game on the App Store and the Google Play Store, or whatever, um, and come to find out that he, the reason he took it off was because I mean, and, and this is from a lot of other sources, um, uh, that, that I've heard of like a couple years ago. Um, that he made too much money off of it. He, the guy said that he made so much money off of it that he felt bad or that he felt guilty. Uh, so he took the game down. Now, if you were, I can't lie to you. A few years ago, I was like, oh yeah, that guy dumb. He dumb. He, 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 that boy is dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. He's just dumb. He's just dumb, dumb, dumb. That, that's what I used to say back then, right? But then as you get older, right? And I understand a lot of people are going to like, you know, try to come at me and be like, bro, no, no, bro. Money is the most important thing ever. Money, money, money. Let me explain something to you. Money is very important. I, I will, you know, it's how you feed your family. It's how you buy food. It's how you, you know, use money to pay for bills, to, you know, to keep the lights on, to pay for your internet, to, to pay the water bill. You know, I, I understand money uh, results in it, money is connected to everything. I understand that. But one thing that you have to realize is that at the end of the day, money isn't everything. Yes, money can. Yes, money is a tool. I look at money as a tool. I don't look at money as, OK, I am money and that's it. No, because like I'm, I'm more than just, you know, money or whatever. You know, I'm also me, you know. So at the end of the day, like, you know, money isn't like for some people, bro. And you'll be surprised for some people. Money is everything. They will do anything for money. Um, and that's very dangerous because if you're willing to do anything for money, then at that point you have no, there's no line. You get what I'm saying? There's no line that you cross at that point. You'll do anything for money. You'll harm others for money. You'll, 
you know, you'll, you'll, you have no morals, you know, you'll, you'll jump across the bridge. You'll, you'll literally, you know, uh, walk across this, this type rope, you know, from one building to another building without the equipment for money. Like you, like you're so, you're so eager for the money that you, you forget that the guy said, Hey, you won't have any equipment and you just walk across the tie by anyway and you fall off. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I understand that. And, and I'm, and no. And guess what? I'm not saying that, oh, money is, is the root of all evil and money is this, money is that. No, I'm not saying that. At the end of the day, it's like, bro, I make money off of these videos. At the And, and that's great. That's cool. Like, bro, I was, I've obviously, bro, I've wanted to do YouTube for so long, bro, as a kid. Now that I'm doing YouTube and I get to put ads in the video and stuff like that, like, yeah, I make money off this stuff. But at the end of the day, what you have to realize is that for some people, bro, money isn't everything. And that's for some people. Some people, bro, some people... You know, would take the low paying job just to go home and chill and then wake up and do it all over again. Some people like that. Some people don't want to make a million dollars. Some people just want to live a comfortable, uh, a, a, a comfortable wage. And that's okay. That's some people. Everybody's different. Not everybody is, 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 uh, is fueled up on money. And at the end of the day, just to keep an eye with you, you know, and I don't want to get too, like, you know, deep or whatever. But at the end of the day, man, some people, th th that's just not their happiness, you know. And um, I understand money, money, it, it, can't, it can't buy happiness. It can't, you know. And I, I don't want to give you guys a lecture. Money can't buy happiness. It can buy things that make you excited. It can buy things that, that, that will help you out and pay your bills and, 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 you know, make you comfortable. I understand that. But at the end of the day, you know, for some people, bro, money don't make them happy, bro. It, it doesn't, you know. The only way you'll get true happiness is from the inside, not from the outside. You don't get true happiness from the outside of, you know, of you uh, just getting all this money. And, and again, I'm not saying that money is evil or whatever. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that not everybody's the same. Don't walk around here thinking that, oh, that guy doesn't, that guy took his game off for millions of dollars. What's wrong with him? He just... That's how he felt. He felt like he was, he felt like he was just making too much money from something that, that that was a, a game. Now, for some other person, they're probably like, oh yes, I'm I'm racking this money every single year. I'm gonna leave this game out, you know, until it's done. I'm making millions of dollars. And for him, he probably was like, you know what, like you know, I made enough money off of this. I'm gonna take it down now. Um, I don't want I don't want people's money or whatever. Da 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 da. And and then that was it. You know, again, everybody's different. But at the end of the day. You know, th that's just what it was. Um, and like I said before, when I was like a little younger, I used to look at that like, bro, like, like, bro, how, like, how can you be that dumb? Like, bro, you took your game off that was making millions of dollars. Da -da -da -da. But then as you get older, you know, you start to look at, you know, your family, you know, you start to look at, you start to look at your, look at your family, get older, you know, and you start to cherish time, you know, with, with your family and your friends or with your partner and, you know, you find different things that you like, you know, you wake up earlier to go. I don't know, to go on, like, morning jogs and stuff like that. Or, you know, you wake up in the morning, you feel good, you fix yourself a cup of coffee, whatever. Uh, you probably found the career that you love to do, you know, it, it, that, that you feel like you're not working at. You know, money can't buy that. You know, money can't buy those experiences, you know, with your family and stuff like that. I mean, yes, you could. I mean, if you want to be technical, yes, you could use the money to, you know, um, you know, fly your, fly your um, I don't know, fly your parents to, go, like, fly your parents to Japan or something like that, you know, whatever. You can be technical, but what I'm saying is a lot of these experiences, that, a lot of these uh, uh, experiences that we all have, that we already have, where is my phone? Okay, my phone disrupted me. I'm going to go, yeah, let me just go take care of that real quick. My phone's going off. Okay. As I was saying, a lot of these experiences that we already have, uh, that we take for granted, yeah, um, are, are priceless. And and until these, like, and, and when I mean by experiences, I mean by family and stuff like that. And until they're gone, uh, we don't we don't understand how priceless they were. So, at the end of the day, you know, money is very important. Money money is very important. Money is is a tool. I I, like, I call it a tool. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know. Money's not everything, you know, so I, I understand now, like, as I get, like, a little older, I'm like, you know, what? I understand why he did it, okay, cool, I understand, um, but, like, bro, when I was younger, I was like, bro, yeah, you're, yeah, you're dumb, you're dumb, 
you're done, brother, brother, brother. I'll fight you to get that thing, <laughs> bro. I'll fight for the rights of that app just to get it back on, and I'll take the money for you. Like, bro, I was a menace when I was younger, bro. I was like, yeah, bro, this guy is dumb. He's stupid. He's whatever. Like, and you know, obviously, like I said before, as I get older, I, I kind of understand, bro. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about Flappy Bird coming back? Um, I, they didn't really say like a date or whatever, but um, it's crazy that this game has literally like it's taken over. That's when you know it got taken down. And now it's making a comeback. Now, I don't know if the same person who bought the game, I don't know if, if he's like, if he actually just made the decision to put it back up. Or I don't know if he, he probably like sold, he probably like sold the game to somebody else and now they're launching it back up. Or I, I don't know, man. Comment down below what you guys think about this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And make sure you guys like the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. You already did it. I appreciate it. See you guys in the next video.